Hello and welcome to the fifth of my Drone Swarm Command development videos. As you can see, I've added a lot of detail to the background. There are now three bases to defend. The central one, the power plant, is your primary objective, so it's game over if that's destroyed. The other two are air bases, which you need to land at for repairing and reloading. Multi-touch functionality is also working, so you can issue two waypoints to drones now by using a second touch. And the upgrade system is now working, so when the planes level up you can land and upgrade them. So you see I've selected the radar upgrade for the blue drone and the radar slides in from the top right. And here's an example of multi-touch. Notice when the first target is destroyed that the drone moves on to attack the second target. So there are three drones in the game, the red, green and blue. The red drone focuses on air superiority and air-to-air -air combat, so its upgrades revolve around missile damage, speed and agility, and um, it has a special attack which attacks multiple opponents, which you can see here. The blue drone focuses on electronic warfare and surveillance, so in addition to the radar it has an EMP weapon. The radar can be upgraded to a second stage where it distinguishes between ground and air targets. You see the triangles on the radar here, they represent ground targets. And here's the blue drone's EMP weapon in effect. The green drone is a ground attack drone, so its upgrades focus on endurance and gun damage. It also has a cruise missile strike as a special attack. You see laser designate two tanks here, and then cruise missiles come in to destroy them from off the screen. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.